Hello guys, Softony here and welcome to another tutorial for After Effects. Today we will create a beautiful colorful slideshow together. Slideshows are a great way to share your favorite moments with your friends and family. By using After Effects you can create animated slides with transitions, effects and music that will turn your photos or videos into an impressive presentation. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced After Effects user, this tutorial will guide you step by step on how to create a colorful slideshow that will truly shine. But before we dive in, I would like to kindly request that you hit the like and subscribe button as a sign of your support. Support. Your feedback and engagement mean a lot of to me and I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch this tutorial. Now let's get started and create an amazing colorful slideshow in After Effects. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or this little icon here, for this one I will rename it to Final, 10 seconds long, width 9020, height 1080, 30 frames per second. Hit OK and also now it's time to create our background, right click, find here new, go to solid and I will rename it to background. Also full HD and then hit OK. Now go here in effects and preset and if you can't find it go to window, find here effects and preset and type here ramp and drag and drop onto our background layer. Now it's time to make a few adjustments for our background. For start of ramp go here, end of the ramp go here and we will choose uh, two pink colors for this first one, go maybe darker one. And for the second one, uh, choose lighter pink color and this is looking really cool here in our final Hit OK and also now it's time to create uh, our big text, big background text. Hit Ctrl plus T. Uh, I'm using this uh, Montserrat black font for this uh, font size. Uh, I will go to around 700. And uh, of course you can type uh, your own number, but I will type here summer like so hit v and then reposition here in our finals like so uh, also hit ctrl plus d uh, and then move the text you can also hold shift while you're dragging down we have the second text for this summer too i will type slide show like so and also it's time to add uh, effect for our summer and slideshow text go here in effects and preset type here cc ball action drag and drop onto our text and for grid spacing type here 7 and ball size 17 also copy this or control plus c for ball action and paste it control plus v here on our slideshow text and now as you can see we have this cool big text here in our background Okay, our next step is to create a mat for our media. I will close this effect control uh, for now. As you can see, I already have uh, media 01 and media 02. Uh, we will create another composition and we will rename it to mat, also full HD, hit OK. And then we will create a new solid, go right click, uh, find here solid. I will rename it to mat 01, hit OK. And then go here in the facts and preset and find circle effect also drag and drop onto our mat 01 and as you can see we have uh, now our circle here in our mat composition then go to around 1 seconds and 15 frames for the radius type here 240 uh, set up our first keyframe and then go to zero type here also zero and now when we hit uh, zero in our mat comp we have this uh, basic animation also hit U to show all of our keyframes, grab them, then hit F9 and go to graph editor. If you can see curve like this, right click and then hit edit speed graph and draw a curve like this. Now when we hit zero, we have this cool animation of our circle. Okay, our next step is to duplicate for a few times this uh, mat uh, circle 01. Hit Ctrl plus D or edit and then duplicate. Uh, we will rename it mat02, uh, just reposition this mat02 to maybe uh, uh, one frames ahead and move it around here. 
Also repeat the process, Control plus D, Format 03, go to around 3rd frames or so and reposition according to your needs. Also hit uh, once again, Format 4, like here, move to around uh, one, frames, 1 frame ahead, also for the 5th one, like so. You can play around with the uh, shapes to get the results that you want, like so. And now when we hit zero, we have this uh, cool mat for our media. All right, our next step is to import our media here in our finals. I'll just drag and drop our media here and also import our mat comp here in our finals. And uh, also if you can't find this uh, track mat, just hit here on toggle switches and modes. And for this media 01, find here alpha mat. And now when we hit zero, we have this uh, really cool animation. Also, if your media is too big, like mine, this is 4K, hit S for scaling and just scale it down like so. And now in our finals, when we hit zero, we have this really, really cool animation. All right. Our next step is to duplicate our circles from our mat. Uh, go to this uh, mat 01, hit Control plus C, go in our finals and paste it here uh, in this composition and for this mat 01 we will rename it to circle 01 like here and then go to effects and preset and find here ramp effect drag and drop onto our circle 01 for the start of ramp go around here end of the ramp like here and then we will find here yellow color two yellow colors first one and then second one, maybe darker one, like here, and then hit OK. Also, what we can do is to go right click and then find here layer styles and then uh, choose uh, inner shadows. Also open up uh, this inner shadows options for distance type here zero. And also you can play around with the size like here. Also for the angle type here zero. For the opacity, you can play around, maybe to go around 50%. And this is, this is looking really cool. Hit V, reposition our first uh, uh, circle here, hit Ctrl plus D. For the second one, you can also hit U uh, and then J and K on your keyboard to jump on the first and second keyframe. And for the radius of our second keyframe, we can go to around maybe 350 or so. You can play around. And now when we hit zero, we have this really cool animation. Also, I will duplicate this cir circle 02 once again and then move it to around here. Also uh, play around again with the radius to maybe around 300, like here. And then what we can do is to reposition our circles also in our finals. Maybe for the first one go to around uh, two uh, frames ahead. Of course you can play around like here. And this is looking really cool here in our finals. Also for the third one, maybe to reposition a bit more like here. And then we have this really cool results. Okay. Also, we will just scale this media 01 just a bit to make sure that our uh, media fits into our uh, mat uh, comp. And now this is looking really cool when we hit zero in our final comp. All right. Now let's create our shape layers, close this effects control for now, hit Q on your keyboard or go here on this ellipse tool, make sure that our fill is set to none and stroke to maybe around 150 and you can go here in our uh, center of our camp, just make sure to unselect all of our layers and then you can uh, hold shift on your keyboard and to draw a circle like this. Also, while you're drawing, you can uh, hold a control to draw uh, this circle from the center and also hit space to drag it up or down according your needs. Like here, mine will be something like this. And now it's time also to rename this uh, shape uh, layer 01. I will rename it to big circle 01. And also we will add uh, our ramp effect on our big circle. Uh, for the start of the ramp go here, end of the ramp go around here and also change our colors to our yellow. You can use this eyedropper like here. You can also play around with the colors. I'm satisfied with this. Also hit U on this circle 03, W, 
go to layer styles and copy this inner shadow and paste it here on our big circle. Now we have something like this. Also, if you want, you can go without shadows, but I like this cool uh, looking of our circles. All right, now it's time to also animate our big circle. Go to add here and then find here uh, trim pads. Open up these trim pads. For the end, go to around 0%. Uh, offset type here 180. And then go to around uh, 2 seconds and 15 frames. Uh, for the start, I will do our first keyframe. And then go to around 0 seconds and type here 100. Uh, also, now it's time to grab all of those keyframes, uh, right click, keyframe assistance and then time reverse. And now when we hit zero, we have also animation of our big circle. Then uh, grab all of our keyframes, hit F9 and move this big circle below our summer text. And now, uh, as you can see, this is looking really cool here in our finals. Also, what you can do is to duplicate this Big circle O1, control plus D, then hit V on your keyboard and move it according your needs here in our finals whenever you want. And I will choose a white color for this second one, like so, like here and hit OK. Also you can play around with the size, hit S for scaling, or you can go also here in the content of our big circle O2 and also uh, open up this ellipse, uh, ellipse path and you can play around with the size. For the stroke you can go around maybe 120, reposition a bit more, hit V and do something like this. Also what we can do is to move our circle O1 here in our timeline like so. And now when we hit zero, we have something like this. And also for the big circle O2, what we can do, just not to see this uh, ugly part, open up this uh, trim pad and just change our offset to maybe around here, 210 or 11. And when we hit zero, we have this really, really cool animation. Also uh, grab all of our two circles, hit U, uh, for this uh, first, uh, uh, for those first keyframes, we can also draw a line like this. Also for the, this uh, circle O2, the same curve like this. And in our finals, now we have this really cool movement. Okay, now it's time to choose this slideshow and summer text. Go right click and then pre-compose them. I will rename it to big text, hit OK, just make sure to move all attributes into the new composition, hit OK, and for the blending modes, uh, I will duplicate uh, first this big text once again, and for the second one, choose here overlay, and for this normal text, hit T for opacity, and type here 30%. And now this is looking even better here in our final composition, OK. Uh, now let's create our uh, main text here in our finals, hit Ctrl plus T or this little icon horizontal type tool and I will just type summer, just make sure that your text size is here uh, 70, like here, summer slide show like this and then hit again here on our summer, summer slide show, hit V and then reposition according your needs, I will do or mine text here. Also find here drop shadow in effects and preset. Drag and drop in our finals. For the distance I'll uh, maybe do 3 and for softness maybe around 10 like so. You can also play around with this distance and softness. And now uh, we will also create uh, uh, our second text. Hit Control plus T and draw a rectangle like so here. And also I have my text already here, I'll just paste it, of course you will type your own text. Uh, for the, the text size I will do 25 and instead of black I will do here maybe medium or regular according your needs, maybe medium. Also you can play around with the uh, leading, maybe to go around 30 and now in our finals we have this really cool looking first and second text. Also. We can copy this drop shadow from the first summer slide show, hit Ctrl plus C and then paste it on our second text for the distance maybe to here go 1. 
for the softness around 5 because this is a smaller text and now also it's time to uh, animate our two text grab all of them and then find here in the facts and preset typewriter effect and then double click and now as you can see when we hit U here on our summer slideshow text and the second one we have also animation of our text so we can play around maybe instead of 2 and 50 go to around 3 seconds and just reposition our first and our text here in our finals maybe this one go around here second one around here and now when we hit zero we have this really cool animation of our text o1 and text o2 now let's create another composition to make this slideshow even better looking i'll just close this effect control for now i hit control plus and i'll just rename it to x signs and then hit ok go here in the x and the sign comp and just hit control plus t and type here just x letter i'm using this montserrat bold for the font size uh, 70 and now it's time to animate our x for uh, rotation hit r set up our fir first keyframe here on one second and type here 180 go to around zero and type also zero uh, grab all of our keyframes hit f9 and now when we hit zero we have this kind of animation o also hit here and then uh, while you're holding control just double click on this pen behind tool just to make sure that our anchor point is here in our center of our x letter and now when we hit zero we have this kind of animation also we will add expression hold alt on your keyboard on this uh, stopwatch and i will just type loop out open close bracket then quotes and i will just type here ping pong and now when we hit zero we have this uh, looping x here in our x sign composition also now it's time to duplicate this for a few times Control plus d and just reposition our x here in our scene like so you can do according your needs i'm just showing you uh, the way to create your own scene hit Control plus d if you want you can scale uh, this uh, maybe four one this second one scale it up or down according to your needs reposition readjust it also and now it's time to drag and drop this x sign composition here in our finals like so when we hit zero we have this really cool x animation in our finals also you can play around with the blending modes instead of this normal find here maybe overlay and now when we hit zero this is looking really really cool also what we can do is to uh, readjust this uh, circle o2 just a bit hit v and then just reposition it like so and now in our finals our animation is looking re uh, really really cool and creative all right guys uh, that was everything for today's tutorial what you can do next is to uh, hit ctrl plus a and then pre-compose all of our layers here in our finals to create slide 01 and then duplicate that slide 01 to create slide 023 to create your own animation to create your own final slideshow uh, i have shown you just a technique I hope you learned something new if you like this video please hit that like button also consider to subscribe on my channel and take a look on my channel to even more great projects to even more great tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye